Hi, my name is Nick, and today I'll show you four advanced tips for Mogurt creation. These tips will help you save tons of time when you're making Mogurts, and since this video is about saving time, let's not waste any. Let's begin. My first tip is to show you how to find the default template folder for Premiere. It's incredibly useful since once you know where this is, you can easily install hundreds of Mogurts or delete all your Mogurts in just a couple of clicks. No more installations one at a time. To get there on Mac, you can either use Finder or Spotlight to get to your library. Go to Application Support, Adobe, Common, and there you'll find the Essential Graphics folder. On Windows, you can press the Windows key, type in percentage sign app data percentage sign to get to your app data folder. You'll want to make sure that hidden folders are shown. Go to Roaming, Adobe, Common, and there you'll also find your Essential Graphics folder. Both of these paths are in the description if you'd like to review them. If you plan on using this folder often, it's a good idea to make an alias or shortcut. I'll go ahead and make one right now. You'll see all of our Mogurts are in this folder when you open it. We can go ahead and delete as many as we want, or drag in as many as we want to install them. This is really useful for when you want to get rid of the default Mogurts, or when you want to organize Mogurts, or when you want to simply drag in entire packages. If you've bought a package of maybe 30 Mogurts, you can just drag them into this folder and not have to install each one individually. Moving on, we're going to talk about AE graphic files. These are the meat and bones of the Mogurt. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up a new Premiere project and create a new sequence. I'm going to go ahead and drag in any of my Mogurts. What I want you to do is look right here in the project panel. As I drag this Mogurt in, you'll see a new folder is created. And this folder is called Motion Graphic Template Media. And inside of here, you can see the name of my Mogurt. You'd actually be wrong, though, if you were to say that this was my Mogurt, because it's not. It's actually an AE graphic. And I could prove that to you by right-clicking on it, either in the project panel or in the timeline, and clicking Reveal in Finder. And what we'll see is it is an AE graphic file. Now, what is an AE graphic file? Well, it's a file that's put inside of our Mogurts when we export them. We'll talk about the contents of an AE graphic in the next section. But for now, just know that this is the file that Premiere links to, not the Mogurt but the AE graphic. So what's happening is we're taking our Mogurt right here, Epic Lines, and we're dragging it in. And what Premiere does is unzips the Mogurt, takes the AE graphic, and puts it right here inside of our Motion Graphic Template Media folder. If we were to send this project to somebody and they were to open it up, the template would be offline. They wouldn't have the AE graphic file, so the template would break. If we were to go ahead and make this offline, you could see this is what they would see. And if we were to right click and click Link, you can see what it's looking for is an AE graphic, so we need to go ahead and find this. And if we press locate, Premiere already knows where it is, so we can just go ahead and select that. And you'll see that our template returns back to normal. Because our template in the timeline is an AE graphic. The Mogurt is the container of our AE graphic. So if a Mogurt contains an AE graphic, what does an AE graphic contain? Well, let's look into that. So far I made it apparent that Premiere can take the AE graphic out of our Mogurt file, but what I haven't told you is that we can do it too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Mogurt that I worked on in one of my last videos, Popping Letters with Tracking, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to rename it not .mogurt, but .zip. I can turn it into a zip file and open it up. The second I open it up, you'll see that we have a JSON file, and this sort of just describes everything like creation date and things like that. Uh, we have a thumbnail for the Mogurt, and we have an AE graphic. We still don't know what an AE graphic really is, so how about we take a look inside? We can actually rename an AE graphic as well. So let's go ahead and click that and rename it .zip2. When we open the AE graphic up, we'll find the original After Effects project that was used to create the Mogurt and any other footage that might have been used in the creation of the Mogurt. This is big stuff, guys. Using this method, we can take the original After Effects file out of any Mogurt and use it to fix problems we've encountered, swap fonts, change the looks, mess with the controls how we like, and then easily just export a new Mogurt. So with this tip, now you can customize Mogurts that you didn't even make, or customize Mogurts after you've made them. I can't tell you how many times that I've lost the original After Effects project and been able to find a Mogurt, open it up, and recover it. So this is a really cool thing to keep in mind, and although it's a little bit convoluted, knowing these tricks could save you a lot of time. Now you may have noticed that AE graphic files have After Effects projects inside of them, and Premiere uses these AE graphic files to work with our Mogurts. Does this mean After Effects is running in the background, or does it mean that Premiere is able to run After Effects projects? The answer is a little bit of both. When Mogurts first came out, After Effects had to run in the background for Mogurts to work, and Premiere would give After Effects commands on how to change the Mogurt. 
This is why we used to have to have After Effects installed to use Muggerts. As of the latest release of Premiere, we're able to work with Muggerts without After Effects being installed. This is because Premiere now has a fair chunk of After Effects tucked away in the background. The benefits of this are not just that you don't have to install After Effects as a Muggert user, but also that the Muggerts that don't require After Effects run much faster. Not all of After Effects was tucked into Premiere, however, so if you use certain unsupported effects in your Muggert, After Effects may still need to run in the background, slowing down your Muggert. How do you avoid making Muggerts that require After Effects? Let me show you. Alright, I've gone ahead and opened After Effects, and I'm just going to go and create a new project. Inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and make a new composition. And I'll put in some text. I'll go ahead and just add a quick mugger control just for fun. After I add in that control, I'll give it a name. Give it a name. There we go. Beautiful. And I'll save this as testing, testing, testing. That seems like a really helpful name. Now, if I were to go ahead and export this as a mugger, you'd see that this dialog pops up. And there are two compatibility warnings that you can check on. These are going to be checked off by default, but I highly recommend that you check these on. These will warn you if the font that you're using is not available on Typekit, which means that whoever is using the Muggert would have to install the font for it to work properly, and you can ask it to warn you if After Effects needs to be installed in order for this Muggert to work. If I were to go ahead and export this, it would give me an error, because the font that I'm using right now is not a Typekit font. So I'm not going to do this. I'm going to go ahead and change the font. We'll change it to something like Alternate Gothic. And if I were to export this now, We'd be totally fine, and this will pop up on my desktop. We're good to go. But, what if I added a Lumetri effect? Let me select my text. Now, if I added this Lumetri color effect, and I tried to export it now, I will get an error saying that, that this Mogurt will only work with Dynamic Link, which means that After Effects has to be installed, and that the Mogurt would be slower. So I would probably try to not use this effect. Obviously, certain looks are going to require certain effects, so it's obvious that some of your Mogurts may require After Effects to be installed. But I do recommend that you try very hard to create looks that don't require After Effects to be installed for performance and convenience issues. Okay, we're finished. Those were my four advanced tips on Mogurt creation. I hope you enjoyed them, and if you're interested in more content about Mogurts, you should check out the rest of my channel. My whole YouTube channel is dedicated to Mogurt development. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.